My name is David, and I'm going to give you a quick, data-driven way to help you make your next lens purchase. With Lightroom open, towards the top of the screen, go to the Filters tab. If you don't see it, you can toggle it on and off with the backslash key located above the Enter key on your keyboard. Next, click Metadata and click at the top of one of the columns. Next, select Focal Length. Now, you can see every photo that you've ever taken and at what focal length. As you scroll, you can see the deviation of all the photos you've taken. So when I look, I notice a lot of images taken at 12 millimeter. So for me, I might want to invest in a wider angle lens. Have a lot of images zoomed all the way in? Maybe it's time for a telephoto lens. Numbers aren't pure truth here. It's really important to look at a lot of the images you've taken and see what would happen if I take a step forward or back. You don't have to have every millimeter on your lens. It's okay to have a pretty decent gap. Buying a new lens is a big decision. It can be really overwhelming to focus on what is the best lens. Really, that's not the concern. A lens is a tool and you need to figure out what is the best tool for your needs. Questions you should be asking is, am I gonna be taking portraits, landscapes, buildings, or do I want to be able to read the expression of someone flying Marine One? This was my late cat, and you can see we both like Canon 17-55 to f2.8 lens. It lets a lot of light in, is stabilized, and I used it for thousands of shots. These used to cost about $1,000, but you can pick up a used one for about $400 or less. And that's what I would recommend unless you really want to be shooting in low light.